Well, hey guys. Um, so I have a previous video that I learned something from when I took the motor out of the truck. I, I'm switching motors to sell. This is a this is a stock 60 um, LQ4, and the other one is an LQ9 that's built 500 and plus horsepower. So, um, so what I need to do is I gotta switch motors around. So I'm switching my clutch and flywheel and. Uh, and I did find out this pilot bushing I put in previously. Um, it's it was spinning in here, so before that that fit in. This is not in this one in the other motor that fit in. Um, I thought this was a good choice. Um, I got about ten thousand miles on the motor, and uh, you could tell that this was spinning in there. Didn't really damage the crank, but did damage this. And uh, it didn't damage either the uh, the bearing the 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 output the input the output shaft of the transmission the input it didn't damage that either that this pilot rides on. So that was a bad choice on my behalf. But I'm sharing this to kind of give you guys some input on what is a better one, and pretty much. It didn't quite go in all the way. This is where it was resting on it. So I know before I thought it needed to go in where it was flush with this lip here. Um, but no, that, that's not how it needed to work out. Um, so I have this L oh, AC Delco. I have a part number right here. Um, I will post that on my uh, down below in the comments so you guys can order and a link. And uh, yeah, it's it's just a, a a bearing type style, not a not a brass, which they all have their purposes. So, um, but I'm gonna put that one in today. Um, this one has never had one in it because it was an automatic vehicle. So I'm just gonna take some Scotch Brite and clean the rust off, and then I'm gonna use the old clutch and flywheel. It is still good, 10,000 miles. It's a High performance setup so it's it's good for 600 horse which is enough for this motor <laughs> but, uh, but yeah I just uh, figure I'd show you guys that and then I'll list all the the part numbers in the description here of the clutch and everything if this helps you guys out um, I know I've had a lot of comments where it has helped guys out because they didn't know how to do this because back in the day when I did this nobody was putting an LS on a manual transmission so um, so yeah yeah definitely has changed a little bit I'm just putting a little lube on those and a little bit I just used some PB blaster to put that in because it's gonna dry up in there it'll make it harder to get back out but uh, you, you can always just put some lube in there also but I got my flywheel here and for an LS it's a different bolt pattern and a different thickness so you got to keep that in mind I do have the part number for that there's a alignment hole here and alignment hole there. So I'm going to line those up. Set that on. And I got my bolts here. Um, they don't have Loctite on them. Usually you're supposed to change these out when you change them out, but um, I'm not doing that. You guys can talk all the crap you want, but the this only has 10,000 miles on it, so I'm not that worried, even though 
you know the the integrity of the bolt stretches and a bunch of stuff so I am putting some Loctite on these and then I'm going to torque them down All right, so it's gonna be 74 foot-pounds. I do have this cool little tool here, and what this does is it goes in place of where the starter motor goes, and it will actually stop your flywheel from spinning. As you uh, torque it. Um, I'll post that up down below if you guys want to know what this tool is. It's it's kind of cool. It just meshes with the gear and it'll allow you to torque these. Let me get some force on it. Alright, so if you're going to reuse your clutch and your flywheel, make sure your clutch is the right direction. Um, don't flip flop them. Um, you're not really supposed to do that anyways. So I got my alignment pin in there, lining that up. Now here comes the heavy part. Right here, I wrote the date on here. 2020 is when I put this in. Um, but yeah, if you guys ever, if you guys do buy the truck, there's my phone number. <laughs> Don't want to really tighten this up with an impact, so gotta slowly tighten it up. It keeps the bolt centered. It is a little tight, so I have to use this thin wall 15 millimeter to torque that down. So. guys well I hope this helps you a little bit I'm gonna get this installed I'm gonna pull this alignment pin out and uh, we're ready to get it put in the truck so cool guys stay tuned for more but uh, hopefully this helps you out thanks